Institute, where personal advancement through computer education gives you the competitive edge to a high-paying career in computer programming, electronics technology and repair, business, sales, and modern office skills. No scheduled classes. You set your own study hours, anytime, day or evening. Learn under the guidance of qualified instructors using the most advanced computer-assisted learning programs and video lectures. At pace, you set the pace. Call anytime, 261-8818 for your free introductory lesson. Call right now, 261-8818. I always wanted to be like my father, you know, order me a dry martini. I saw that there was an image behind drinking when people that drank that they looked older and sophisticated. I was 11 when I lost my virginity to a guy who was 17 and I was drunk. Drinking had taken me so far down I had to get out of my house. Sometimes I'd sleep in the woods. If I didn't sleep in the woods, I slept on the corner. If I didn't sleep on the corner, I slept at someone's house who I didn't even know. I had winded up in a lot of trouble with the law. I had winded up in jail. When I was drinking, you know, I was with a lot of guys and a lot of guys use me. You know, I hurt my parents dearly. You know, and I knew at the time I was doing it, but I didn't care just as long as I got high. I was so miserable. I hated myself. Every time I looked in the mirror, I wanted to cry. Hey, yo, alcohol is a drug, man, and you can get hooked on it. And the younger you start, the more damage you can do. Word. It's just no experience with no kids my age or anyone younger. If you want to be somebody, have a family, have a future, just say no. Say no and say yes to you. When everything says you can't, Bravo. believe in the part of you that says you can't. Starts on Saturday. And don't be late! From the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. We'll be right back with the KTVX Late Night Theater. Illiteracy is called America's hidden problem. Some of the consequences that often result from illiteracy, crime, unemployment, and teenage pregnancy, are not hidden and they affect us all. Democracy doesn't work unless we have an educated public. Thousands of our citizens cannot read above a third grade level. We all must do our part to combat the serious problem of illiteracy. If you know someone who needs help or if you would like to help teach someone to read, please call the literacy hotline number. Thank you.
Pace Institute, where personal advancement through computer education gives you the competitive edge to a high-paying career in computer programming, electronics technology and repair, business, sales, and modern office skills. No scheduled classes. You set your own study hours anytime, day or evening. Learn under the guidance of qualified instructors using the most advanced computer-assisted learning programs and video lectures. At Pace, you set the pace. Call anytime, 261-8818 for your free introductory lesson. Call right now, 261-8818. I'm Dr. George Brothers. What you're about to see is a tragedy. A father who truly believes he's only disciplining his child when in fact he's abusing him. The father is continuing the cycle of abuse started by his father and maybe his father's father. There's such a fine line between discipline and abuse that each of us must take a look at how we handle our children under stress. We can break the cycle of child abuse by asking for help if we need it. We're not just the victims of child abuse, we're the solution. My old man was really something. He kept me on track, all right. Don't, don't run into me, Bobby. Come here. My daddy never let me get out of line. Don't run from me. Don't run from me. And I just hope I'm half the father my old man was. Help break the cycle of child abuse. It's a crying shame. says you can't. Bravo. Believe in the part of you that says you can. Starts on Saturday. And don't be late! From the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. We'll be right back with the KTVX Late Night Theater. My favorite thing to do is to rock and roll. When I first found out that I had diabetes, I thought it was the end of the world. Turned out it wasn't. Before I go on stage with Dow Jones, I take two minutes to monitor my blood sugar. The test tells me if my blood sugar is high or low. Testing my blood sugar helps me keep on doing what I want to do. Hey, if you have diabetes, don't let it stop you. You can achieve anything you go after. hottest part of your day occurs at night on True Confessions. From the pages of America's foremost storyteller, real stories that before were only told behind closed doors. Each night a new story of love and sacrifice, straight from the hearts of the men and women who live them. The rendezvous, the denial, the joys, the sorrows, realities and fantasies of someone just like you. True Confessions, weeknights at 11.35 here on KTVX Channel 4. Pace Institute, where personal advancement through computer education gives you the competitive edge to a high-paying career in computer programming, electronics technology and repair, business, sales, and modern office skills. No scheduled classes. You set your own study hours anytime, day or evening. Learn under the guidance of qualified instructors using the most advanced computer-assisted learning programs and video lectures. At Pace, you set the pace. Call anytime, 261-8818 for your free introductory lesson. Call right now, 261-8818. Everything 
tongue says you can't. Bravo. Believe in the part of you that says you can. Starts on Saturday. And don't be late. From the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Good afternoon. medical mysteries of our time is what causes multiple sclerosis, an incurable disorder of the central nervous system that can blind, cripple, or even paralyze. Symptoms of the disease may include double vision, slurred speech, and loss of coordination. Without warning, MS strikes young people in the prime of life. College students, brides, athletes, servicemen. 200 more young Americans are diagnosed every week just as they're starting to live, just as they're beginning careers and building their families. So please, don't turn your back on them. Through a network of chapters and clinics across the country, the National Multiple Sclerosis Society provides the counseling and therapeutic services needed so people with MS can get around, get jobs, and get on with their lives. And through research, it's going all out to find a cure. We're getting closer, and someday soon, with your help, the term MS will come to mean mystery solved. Please don't turn your back on us. Hi, I'm Thurl Bailey. Mark Eaton. John Stockton. Mark Averoni. There's a lot going for you at your Salt Lake County Libraries. Films and videos. Fine art. Music practice rooms. Microcomputers. But as our population grows, so must our libraries. With more books and expanded services. Give your gift to Utah's future. Donate money to support your Salt Lake County Library Foundation. Give $30 or more and receive a basketball autographed by the Utah Jazz. Support your county library. They're a great investment. 